Today our focus is going to be on Level 4 Learning. If you attended the March SRG training, we spent some time briefly beginning the work of writing Level 4 Learning targets. Today we will continue that work and then we'll round it out in our May trainings. So the language on the scale for the Level 4 Learning target is vague. It's the same on every scale. It states, in addition to meeting the learning goal, the student demonstrates in-depth inferences and applications that go beyond the goal. So let's take a look at our scale today. Take a moment to read over the level two and level three learning targets. So hopefully at the end of today, you're feeling somewhat comfortable writing more specific learning targets for level four. So let's hear what Dr. Marzano has to say about the levels on the scale. Level two contains the knowledge and basic processes that lay the learning foundation that builds to the standard and is therefore composed of the cognitive processes below those at the level three on the scale. So really thinking of level two as that foundational knowledge. Level three on the scale contains the skills needed to demonstrate the cognitive complexity of the standard. Level four on the scale includes knowledge and skills that will either deepen the thinking of the standard or in the case of more complex content, change the context in which the standard will be applied. So it really is not going to the next grade level skills, but truly deepening the current grade level based on the complexity of the standard. And we'll practice that coming up. So let's take a look at our mountain. We have Charlie here and he's gonna go up the mountain to reach his goal. He hits different learning targets along the way, some that might be before the scale, some that might be that foundational knowledge, that level two, and then eventually able to get to our goal. Once he is able to get to the goal, he has provided the opportunity to go beyond the goal, and that's that level four learning target. So what does level four in rigorous instruction really mean? All students should be able to have access to rigorous instruction as well as cognitively complex tasks. Like I stated before, the target is not necessarily on our scales, it's that vague um, description. And the reason for this is we feel that the power of effectively being able to instruct and assess that level four comes from the teams of teachers, those PLCs collaboratively developing these targets. So what goes into a level four target? The first thing is that it needs to be applicable to the real world and the real world of a fourth grader or a fifth grader. So it's not necessarily designing a whole complex of buildings, but really a real world to them. So a good example of this would be planning a birthday party, managing that budget using decimal operations. That's real world to a fourth or a fifth grader. The second component is extension. So this requires them to use what they, that foundational level two knowledge, that cognitively complex level three standard knowledge and extend beyond that. Again, stating that it's not the next grade level's content, but going beyond in their current grade level. The third component is autonomy. So these tasks and targets need to be independent of the teacher, where the teacher is more of a coach or a facilitator of that learning. It involves choice for the student. And then there's that appropriate level of struggle where they have to be able to problem solve. The fourth component is cognitive complexity. So increasing that level of cognitive complexity on Bloom's taxonomy or whatever taxonomy you might use at your school to increase that level of rigor. So for example, if my goal was that that understand on Bloom's taxonomy, my level four might be to analyze. And we're going to see what this looks like in practice. 
So let's take a look at blooms. To increase the cognitive complexity means to move right on the cognitive dimension from where the learning goal is located. So for example, if my goal is in the understand column, anything to the right of that could be where I'd place my level four learning target. So I could have students applying, analyzing, evaluating, or creating for that level four target. Now it's also important to remember that we can kind of move up and down on that knowledge dimension as well. So factual, conceptual, procedural, metacognitive, but especially that metacognitive, which really ups the level of rigor when we get our students thinking about their own thinking. So now I'm gonna turn it over to your fabulous facilitator who's gonna lead you through some activities to practice writing these level four learning targets.